Okay, so now we're going to talk about different muscle fibers, and presumably you've already learned this, but let's just review a few things about the different muscle fibers. Uh, so there's a, a broad category, fast versus slow mus muscle fibers. Slow muscle fibers um, are slow because they, they ramp up, their tension ramps up, ramp, ramps up slowly and falls off slowly. They can operate for long periods of time because they use oxygen, but because they use oxygen, their size is limited to what they can, what can be um, supplied by blood vessels. So it can't be so big that the blood, blood can't get in to the depths of the, of the muscle. So these are uh, relatively um, small muscle fibers. And in contrast, the, the fast muscle fibers, they ramp up really fast and they use glycolytic, a, a glycolytic source of energy. So they don't rely on oxygen and therefore they are not um, uh, well vascularized. They don't need to be well vascularized. Now, and, and they're gonna operate really fast and produce a big increase in tension rapidly, but they're not gonna be able to sustain that tension for very long. So we have two different uh, advantages and, and, and two different disadvantages. You can think about the slow fibers as the ones that are going to get you through the day. And so the, the, the uh, poster child for this is uh, the soleus muscle. The soleus muscle is the muscle at the back of your legs that is going to keep you upright. And this has to be contracted uh, whenever you're standing. And you can stand for, for 24 hours. You could stand for 24 hours. You'd be exhausted by the end of that. But you could easily stand for five hours. And, and these m muscles are just going to keep on going. They're going to keep on getting oxygen. They're going to keep on contracting. It's not a huge contraction. It doesn't produce a lot of tension, but it will stay. It has staying power. Um, the, the, if, you, if you think about it, the actual, the real extreme of a slow muscle fiber is cardiac muscle, which is going to contract for the, the, the length of your lifetime. OK. so. Um, the soleus, m almost all muscles are mixed, but the bulk of the muscle fibers in the soleus muscle are slow twitch fibers. It, the other extreme is the, or, uh, an example of the other type of muscle, uh, a muscle dominated by fast twitch fibers, is the orbicularis oculi. This is the, is the muscle that surrounds your eye and is responsible for, for blinking. So if an irritant comes in to your eye, you blink it away. You don't use your levator palpebrae. In fact, it's pretty hard to, to just move one levator palpebrae. But to, to uh, contract the orbicularis oculi, you can do that on either side. And um, you can do it rapidly. So the composition of the orbicularis oculi is mostly fast twitch. And the fast twitch is white muscle. It doesn't require oxygen, so it doesn't, it's not highly vascularized. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't need that. Whereas the slow twitch mu muscle is red because it has, to, it has to have a source of blood. It runs only on oxygen. And if there's no oxygen, it's not going to run. Um, and so this is the source of the idea of red meat and white meat. Now, the fiber size is it, the, um, the maximum fiber size that a, that a fast twitch muscle fiber can be is much larger than that of a slow twitch muscle fiber. And that is simply because it can grow irrespective of whether there's a, a blood supply nearby. So it can grow big. But the slow twitch fiber can only grow as as far as it is going to get direct source of blood. But that is a maximum size. It is not necessarily the size. And the size of a muscle fiber will be proportional to the force that the, that muscle is, has to exert. And in the case of the orbicularis oculi, because all it's moving is skin, the fiber size is, in fact, very small. 
But if this were a fast twitch fiber, not in the orbicular osculi, but in, in let's say the quadriceps, then the fiber size would be much bigger. Okay, and much bigger than this, than the biggest of the slow twitch fibers could be. Okay, so fast twitch muscle fibers can be much bigger than slow twitch muscle fibers, but not, are not necessarily bigger. It depends on the load that that muscle is moving. Okay, and just to, to reiterate, the proportion of slow and fast twitch muscle fibers is, is, um, to accommodate the function of a muscle. So if it's a gripping muscle that has to grip on something all day long, that is going to have, that is able to grip on something all day long, that is gonna have a lot of slow twitch uh, muscle fibers. Whereas if it's um, a, a limb muscle that can make a very strong ballistic movement, that will tend to have at least a nice complement of fast twitch muscle fibers. Okay, so um, let's now look at, at we're gonna add in a, a third type of, of muscle fiber. So these are slow twitch muscle fibers that we already talked about. That, let's go through their characteristics. They can only work uh, aerobically. They need oxygen to work. They, they, can, they contract slowly, the, the, they ramp up slowly, they produce tension slowly, but they can stay contracted for hours. Um, the upper size limit is small, and the upper limit for the twitch tension, because the upper size limit is small, the upper uh, limit for twitch tension is also low. Okay, and on the other extreme are the glycolytic fast twitch fibers. These only work by uh, glycolysis, so they don't, uh, they don't use any oxygen. They, they contract really rapidly, but they can only stay contracted for a few minutes. Okay, if it, I mean, intermittently you can go longer, but if, if you're uh, contracted without interruption, two, three minutes. The upper size limit is very uh, large, and the upper limit for the twitch tension that a fiber can produce is accordingly very high. Now there is a, uh, a third category. It's a fast twitch fiber, but it has aerobic capacity. And that aerobic capacity does a couple things. It, it slows down the, the speed of contraction. It lengthens the amount of time that that muscle fiber can stay contracted. And it, um, it also uh, it makes the, these upper size limit and the upper limit for twitch tension intermediate between the slow twitch and the, and the fast twitch that are uh, pure fast twitch fibers. Okay. So what we're gonna do now that we understand, we've reviewed, hopefully reviewed these different types of muscle fibers, we're gonna look at the motor control of them and that's gonna take us to the concept of the motor unit. <music>